I'm pretty sure this is zircon. We'll, we'll come back to this. But what I see is high relief, elongate, prism, a sort of a blunt end. A lot of times there are two crystal faces that come together at a sort of rounded point. It has parallel extinction and high interference colors. And there's surprisingly little radiation damage in the biotite surrounding the zircon. This is definitely zircon, high relief, elongate prism, blunt end. But here you can see an inherited core. That's the sort of pinkish orange uh, bit that's right in the, in the crosshairs, surrounded by the rest of the zircon. And then you see parallel extinction and high interference colors. The interference colors for the core are maybe a little bit different than the rest of the zircon, probably because it has somewhat different chemistry. This zircon also shows the same characteristics we've seen before. High relief, uh, blunt ends. Um, it, you'll see it has parallel extinction, not very much radiation damage in the biotite around it, and high order interference colors. This is a great little zircon. Zircons belong to the tetragonal crystal system, so many crystals are almost square in their cross-section. So this is a crystal that's been cut perpendicular to the long axis. Uh, when you cross the polars, then the interference colors are really low because you're looking down the C-axis, or nearly so. Yeah, I couldn't resist putting this one in. It's another of these big zircons. Elongate prism, high relief, has some kind of core in the middle, also a couple of inclusions. Those are those dark um, dots inside there. Across the polars, you see that beautiful interference colors and the parallel extinction. So now we come back to this crystal, and again, it has it's an elongate prism, not very much radiation damage. It's true that the ends are not quite as symmetric as you see in other zircon crystals, but the interference colors are very similar. It has parallel extinction, and all of these characteristics together make me think that this is probably a zircon, rather than something like monazite.